The omens weren't great for Dragons going into this game. They were looking for their first Pro 12 away win since February and their first win in Glasgow in over four years. A significant night for scrum half Richie Reese, who was making his 100th appearance for Dragons. Glasgow's only defeat so far this season came at home to Munster in Series 6, but otherwise Gregor Townsend's team have been in excellent form. They were unbeaten in their last seven encounters with Dragons and welcomed Stuart Hogg back after injury. 21-year-old Finn Russell made his debut in the centre. Things could hardly have started worse for the visitors. In the second minute, Pat Leach, back in the side after injury, was immediately in trouble with the officials for that tip tackle on Rob Harley. The referee Peter Fitzgibbon didn't hesitate in producing a yellow card for the man from Colwyn Bay. And straight away, Dragons were down to 14 and under pressure. And Glasgow were quick to apply that pressure. With the one-man advantage, they found Hogg, who was showing no ill effects of his layoff. The Scottish international drew the defence before finding Nico Matuwalu, who had a clear run to the line for the opening score of the match in the second minute. Henry Pyrgos missed the conversion, but Warriors were five points to the good very early on. But Dragons hit back quickly with two quick penalties from Tohi to move into a 6-5 lead. Past the half-hour mark, Dragons extended their lead. If Matawalu was the hero for Glasgow with the early try, he turned villain for this one. It looked as if he had plenty of time to clear, but inexplicably he lost possession of the ball. Tobby was alert enough to capitalise and get over for his side's first try of the evening. This wasn't the Warriors' form we've witnessed so far this season, and when Tobby converted his own score, it gave the Welshman a 13-5 lead with 34 minutes on the clock. And that's how it stayed to the break. Early in the second half, Pyrgos found his range with a well-struck penalty to bring Glasgow back into it, 13-8 down, and plenty of time to recover the situation. Winger Matthew Putner became the second dragon of the night to see yellow soon after that for coming in from the side of the ruck. But this time, the home side failed to take advantage of their numerical supremacy, and in fact it was Dragons who put the next points on the board. The man of the match, Tovey, was instrumental with a lovely chip into the corner, which Matt Harries ran onto to cross over for try number two for his side. And significantly, when Tovey landed a brilliant conversion from by the touchline, it gave Dragons a 20 points to eight lead, just short of the arrow mark. Tani Tele became the third player from the away side to spend time in the sin bin after he was yellow carded for a deliberate block. But it didn't upset the visitors' rhythm to any great extent. And as the game wound towards a finish, it was that man, Tobby, who scored the last points of the encounter with a well-worked drop goal to leave a final score of Glasgow 8, Dragons 23. A setback for Warriors title hopes and a performance described as the worst under his stewardship by coach Townsend. He called some of his side's mistakes horrific. They face Ospreys in Wales next time out. Dragons play Munster next and will go into that game full of confidence after a superb win at a difficult venue. Final score at Scotstoun. Glasgow Warriors 8, Newport Gwent Dragons 23.